Okay, go. We made it to the Legoland Castle Hotel in Carlsbad, California. Okay, so we've made it to the hotel and uh, it is pretty cool actually. Um, I'll take you on a super quick tour. So we've got, this is the main part of the room here. There's the bed. It's got a TV and it personal, personalizes it with your name. If we go down the hall some closet space, extra duvet. They give you some complimentary um, drinks here. So juice, water, and coffee, as well as hot chocolate. Um, not sure if that's because we're a family of four, they gave us four servings, or if they just do that for everybody. Uh, there's also an in-room safe and a mini fridge um, that is accessible for leftovers or whatever. Uh, there is the safe for your kids to figure out the combination. And there's, I believe, prizes in there, probably Lego related. Uh, this is the, they have a mini peephole for kids, which I thought was pretty cute. And I also thought these were cute. So if you don't want your room cleaned, you've got no service heroes sleeping. And if you do want it cleaned, you've got Make It My Room and it's got little castle Lego guys. Pretty cute. They have a special, um, kind of like on like a cruise ship where you have to put the card in the this little envelope to, in order to open to, to keep the lights on. And then this part's super cool. This is the kids' bedroom. So they've got bunk beds and then there's also a trundle bed there if you had a third child that could sleep there. Comes with some Lego, which my kids were busily attracted to immediately. Astrid's busily building away. Uh, and then there's a TV with information directly on it. I did notice the beds are appropriately children sized. I tried to lay down in this bottom one and I found it was very, it felt a bit claustrophobic to me. So I'm thinking if you have maybe teenagers or adults, 
probably not the best um, probably not the best solution for them to sleep there and it's got but it's pro I'm sure it's perfect for kids my kids are very excited to sleep in here and then it's got this privacy curtain as well so you can turn off the lights in here you can keep lights on out there and you're not going to disturb the kids there's a lovely we have the knights and dragons room so there's a lovely knight uh, picture and there's theming on the carpets all the way through on all the walls and then of course into the bathroom as well so how many lego animals can you find in the royal throne located in the grand hall can we keep our shoes off I think we should put it. So we are in the uh, Legoland restaurant, the Castle Hotel restaurant, Dragon's Den, and that is Legoland. Right there. Very cool. After dinner, we walked to the Legoland gates. We checked out the other Legoland hotel and we explored some of the outdoor activities going on at the Castle Hotel. Meet the Lego Knight. Rotisa treasure hunt from the hotel. They gave us a piece of paper with some clues. You find four clues by looking around the hotel for things. And then once you have written down the combination based on those clues, you get to open this safe and see if there's a prize in there for you. So, all right, put in your clues, guys. All right, the first one. is one. Two. All right, so the second one is two. two. Then the third is two, and the last one is one. Hey, what's in there? Ooh. Many Lego things. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. Or you can trade tomorrow at back at Legoland. I just wanted to walk you guys through some of our favorite features that we have in the hotel room here. So at the front door, they've got on the wall this light switch. You just drop your room key in and when you leave you can just pull your room key out and it'll shut off every single light inside the room, which is pretty awesome. You don't have to run around shutting off all the light switch in the room. Inside the kids' room, from up top here in the vent, they've got a light show for the night sky. That's pretty awesome. Inside the bathroom here, they've provided a little stool for all the little ones to be able to access everything and the toilet with the two sizes. So that's excellent as well. Inside the main bedroom, the first night we were here, we didn't open, turn on the light switch for the lights over the headboard. So definitely making sure that you take the time to find that third light switch and turn that on. Couple weird things about the room. It seems like maybe the walls could use a little bit more sound rating. You definitely can hear the people next to you. But by the time that the kids have been running around all day, they're, they definitely won't notice. Everyone will be straight to bed. I know that we were. So we were up too early to get into the park. So we had to kill a little bit of time. So we just went for a walk. So all the way up to the front of Legoland Drive where you come in. And now we're walking along, just checking out all these Lego sculptures. 